Hi everyone. Let me know if you can hear and see me okay guys. Hi Anna. Hi Chantel. Hello, hello. Hope everyone's well. Hope you've had a nice week. Hi Fran, you okay? Hey Anna. Perfect. Can see and hear okay. Thanks, Alexandra. So tonight we are going to be talking all things full on tips. I will be modelling a few of the tips. So I've got all of the new tips on my nails tonight and I'm going to be showing you an application on my thumb as well. So we'll take a look at the new products and I'm going to compare all the shapes and lengths and things for you. And if you've got any questions at all, I'm just going to hopefully get this up. Yeah, I've got that on my iPad, so I should be able to see questions in front of me. And hopefully another educator is on the class. So if there's any questions I miss... I have nails to do now, can I watch later? Yes, I'll be saving this, guys. So, are they etched on the inside? Yes. So, the new tips are pre-buffed. Okay, so they come in a lovely new style pre-buffed box. And they are pre-buffed. So, they are matte. I can grab one. Fiddly when you got nails this length on. So this is what they look like. Matte on the inside, matte on the outside. So all you need to do to apply these is use your full on tip primer. You no longer need to file the inside of these tips, which as you say, is an absolute game changer. This is gonna save you guys so much time. Also those of you that aren't e-file trained, this is, um, gonna really help you guys save you using the disposable files and then once you've applied your primer to the inside you are gonna apply our full-on gel and because these are colored this is gonna save you even more time you can see how beautiful they are so this is the peach we've got the peach almond and we've got the peach coffin so coffin is our new shape this is our tapered square, original tapered square shape that we have. And this is our new coffin shape. So you can see that it is more tapered in at the edges. And this is our colored version. So you've got the pink or you've got the peach. This is the pink and this is the peach. Your boxes, you've got 510 boxes, 510 boxes, 510 tips in these ones. And you've got sizes zero to 10.5. So there are more sizes in these boxes compared to the old one, which is great because they are in half sizes. So this is also gonna mean you guys are gonna save time. You're not gonna have to custom file as much because you've got the half sizes. So let me show you our lamp as well. So this is the new flash cure lamp, which is super cute and dinky. Comes up like this, swivels to the side when you have it down. So you can pop it wherever you want um, your clients to suit. And it's just got a little USB port at the back. So either get, you know, um, like an iPhone, plug or anything like that and you can plug it in this is a touch sensor so it isn't going to sense on when you put your hands underneath but what i would do is just have it on pop your tip on and take it to the side so let's see these questions how short are the shortest tips so on my pinky here this is our short round and on my pinky here, this is our coffin. 
short um, and then this is our new almond short okay so those are the the shorter ones is this being saved yeah i'll save this guys don't worry are the original ones going to come in the box and half sizes in extra stiletto length i've got a feeling the extra stiletto length are possibly in half sizes already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I'm just counting twelve um sizes in the stiletto ones. So in our normal ones, our almond ones and our tapered square ones, they come in zero to nine. So you've already got the extra sizes in the stiletto ones. Your flash cap, your flash lamp comes in this lovely nifty box. Um and you get your little cable in it grab this you've got a nice long cable that you're gonna pop it in yes we do have square let me grab the square and I'll show you so these are our short square ones don't even have hands to put these ones on sorry guys so let me grab one of these out Okay, that's your short square. Maybe put one that fits my thumb better on so that you can see. Okay. So that's the length of them. And then that is our short round. And I've got teeny, teeny, teeny hands. Um, and they fit me great. Does the, li the liquid etcher work with the old fill-on tips? Yes, absolutely. So we tested it with the old fill-on tips and got absolutely brilliant results with that. So you can absolutely go and use this instead of your um, filing for the new style tips. How long would you say a set lasts? Ages, <laughs> absolutely ages. These are absolutely solid. Um, when we were testing them, I kept mine on for four weeks and they were absolutely perfect. I have a lot of naughty clients that live uh, quite a few hours away from me. They don't come to me regularly and I've had clients keep these on for eight weeks. So yeah, the staying power is great. But of course we advise just the same as your usual um, enhancements, three to four weeks and then you're ready to go and do your infilling. Can you maintain these by infilling at all? And if so, how? Yes, these are absolutely amazing to infill. So, oh, that one doesn't have one on. So can you see how thin they are? The apex isn't huge, so you don't have a lot of work to do when you're infilling these. And whenever I show an infill on the Fool and Tips class, students are so, so shocked at how quick and easy they are to infill because they file off so beautifully. They soak off really, really well. Um, and if you don't like doing infilling, then because they soak off so well, you can absolutely just soak them off each time and reapply a new one. Are the new tips any different to the old one beside the colour matte? No, I wouldn't say so. The shape's obviously different. So this is the old version. This is a tapered square old version. And this is a short almond old version. The only difference is they are not matte everything else is the same with those can you use the old builder in a pot with full on tips yes you absolutely can um the reason that we have taken out the full on gel is because you can't use the build me up in the bottle if you use it from the pot you're absolutely fine but if you use it in the bottle sometimes you don't get the best results with that so this is why we brought that out to save any confusion to save anyone reading oh yeah you can apply it with build me up and then going and using the bottles and not getting the results that you want so that is the reason that we've bought out the full on gel are the new style tips stronger they are all as strong as each other super super strong you can see by the c curve on them we've got lots of lovely strength on them um, from that so yeah I wouldn't say they're they're any stronger they're all as strong as each other so we still need to file the edges to blend into the cuticle line um now actually I've answered one of those questions wrong because I would say these are slightly thinner at the tip compared to the new style ones so I actually haven't filed this tip at all 
However, with the old ones, I have filed that one ever so slightly. Um, so I would say you're just a little bit, a little bit thinner at the tip, and this is so that when you are curing um, through the coloured, that the light can get through it. So we still need to file. Yep, we've got that one. Any other questions that I've missed there? Let me know. Ask me a question again if it hasn't been been answered, guys, and I'll get on the case. So you complete your full natural nail prep first with this, just like you would any other system. And you want to apply a base with these. I always find that you get best results applying a base. So I'm going to be showing you using Get A Grip Clear today. This is what I'm going to use. Did I miss the full on gel being applied? No, don't worry, Tara. I've got my thumb ready um, to apply, so don't worry. Yes, I would use a base coat. You don't need a base coat. Um, if you don't want to, but this doesn't soak off great. It's going to take you quite a while to soak this off because it's so thick. We need it to be thick so that it's strong adhesion for the tips. This is slightly thinner and soaks off beautifully. So when you're doing a soak off, what you want to do is up to you. You can either file through the whole tip. If you're e-filed trained, that won't take you long at all. And then you can wrap up, soak the full on gel. Um, and then get down to your base layer and soak that. Let me just read this question. I currently use a short square, but don't like the thickness on the cuticle line. Would you recommend the matte clear instead to get around the thicker cuticle edge? So all you've got to do there, Claire, is file with your file around the cuticle edge. So let me show you what I mean by that. With the old style tips, all you have to do you forget how fiddly life is with long nails all you gotta do is whoa with this file come around the edges before you apply it and then that way you are going to get that nice and flush doesn't take much so I would say if you do that before but obviously if you want to save time doing that then yeah absolutely grab the other ones if you're applying a color on top of the matte cloud full on tip will we need to buff etch it beforehand or can we apply straight on top I would always buff before applying gel and I'd always wipe over with prep just in case your clients touched anything they've got oil from their hands onto the onto the extension um, so yeah I would buff them before you paint them how long does a full set take so I'm extremely quick when it comes to doing sets of nails I'm e-file trained and I've been using full on tips for a few years now since they came out so I can get a set done in 45 minutes my students average about one hour to one hour 15 and that is start to finish including your art, including your prep, including everything. So they are super, super fast and super easy to apply, which means that your profits are huge because it's going to take you less time usually um, than a sculpted set or a tip set. But obviously everyone works at different speeds depending on what they're using. Um, so everyone will differ. But yeah, I would say hour, hour 15. Okay, let me just check if we've got any. How long does it take to soak off? So I soaked off one of these just to try the, the new tip soak off. And I got mine soaked off in about 12 minutes. And all I did was use my 180 file, clipped the edges of the tip, filed the top layer, wrapped in um, my remover for five minutes first. This will turn the tip like jelly. And then file again. That's going to take all the tip off. Soak it again for another five minutes. That's going to get you through the full on gel. And then you're just going to have that tiny layer of um, get a grip. And then, yeah, five more minutes with that. I'd say 15 minutes total to soak them off. If you're e-file trained, that will be much quicker. Sorry, I've just joined. Do you just paint over them? Yep, literally. So you stick them on with your full on gel. 
and then you buff over the top and then you paint over your gel polish. It's super, super quick, super, super easy. How long would they last? At least three to four weeks. Uh, I've had clients that go eight weeks, naughty clients, um, but they last just as well as all of our other Magpie systems. Can you please recap? We've not gone through much. I'm just showing you the new full on tips. I'm just about to show you an application on my thumb. We've got two new products, full on gel, full on primer, and we have a new lamp that I'm gonna show you as well. So you use Get A Grip as a base. Yes, I'll use Get A Grip, depending on what clients that you are working on. If you've got a client that rubber up's more suited to, then use rubber up. But I find that 99% of my clients are absolutely grand with Get A Grip, so that's what I use. Do you need a base coat before colour? No. You only need a base coat to secure gel to the natural nail. So the only time that I'm using a base coat is when I'm working on the natural nail. Um, you do not need to do a base coat before you're applying colour. All you need to do is buff them and pop it on. So let me go ahead and give you a wee demo. And let me just plug my lamp in. Please be careful um, when you're applying your products guys because of course when I was um, putting the primer on one of my tips I've already caught my magpie lamp and made a mess of it and I also half cured my gel. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how not to do that um, now. So my light's got a USB port, so I just plug it into that. And then all you have to do is touch the button and that is gonna turn it on for you. Yes, I can't wait for training, Fran. Is anyone else booked on for the training of the tips? We've got loads of classes available at the minute. We've got in-salon classes, we've got online classes. It's nine pounds for the online class and it is a four hour session and it is accredited for gel qualified techs now so if you've only got a gel qualification you don't have your extensions that's not a problem anymore you can jump on this class and add extensions to your services so i'm going to go ahead and pop one of the pink coffins on my thumb and that will finish my coffin family so this is what they look like in the box, lo loads of different sizes to suit your clients. And I'm gonna grab my tip and check it fits. How long does the lamp stay on for? Just as long as you hold it on. So tap it on, tap it off, um, and then it will go off when you need it to. Very sensitive. So what I'm gonna do first is get my lamp out of the way while I'm using products, because that's how we had an accident. So I'm gonna get a good helping of this. And I have prep, I prepped my natural nail, so I've pushed my cuticles back, I've removed all non-living tissue. And I've cut my cuticles. I'm rubbing that prep all the way around. And then I'm using my nail to get underneath. And then what I'm gonna do first is go on with my Get A Grip Clear. Rolling it out so that no gel falls onto me. And I'm gonna try and make sure that I don't get out of shot. So I'm just applying a nice, even layer of get a grip, just like I normally would do, leaving about a millimeter gap. And capping free edge. Is the lamp multifunctional? It hasn't been able to be used for any flash cure nail art. Yeah, it absolutely is, which is fantastic. So if you guys need to flash cure anything at all, then you can just whack your lamp on, pop it on um, and flash cure anything. So it's gonna be super handy for hands free.
Get it. The pink almonds are out of stock. Oh no. I knew they'd be popular. I knew they would be. They're so, so nice, the pink. I think you can sign up to be notified when they go back into stock. So I'm curing that for 60 seconds. Might get a grip. And then we're going to go ahead and put the full on gel and the primer on. And you'll be amazed at how quick and easy they go on. The system really is too good to be true. Hey Alice. Hey Sally. You're just in time. So I've got my base on, my base is cured. And I've got my tip ready. And what I'm going to do first is grab my full on primer. And I'm going to blot it off on the side a few times. You do not need much of this. And I'm going to apply this to the contact area of the tip. You won't really be able to see it. It'll just look slightly wet. So I'm just scrubbing that in. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. For about 20 seconds. Are they suitable for clients that have small nail beds, bitten down nails? I wouldn't say they're suitable for nail biters because when you apply this, if you had a nail biter, then you'd be getting product on the skin. It'd be really difficult not to get product on the skin. But for petite nails, excellent. I've got tiny, tiny nails. That's why I'm called little blank spaces. They are really, really petite um, and they are perfect for me. Sorry, I missed the start. What's on the thumb? This is just my base coat. So this is Get a Grip Clear Charlotte. Right, now let me get organised. This is going to be slightly fiddly to do on camera. But we're going to give it our best shot. So I've just got a gel brush. You can use whatever gel brush that you want. And the first thing, get that to the side so it doesn't cure my gel anymore is I'm going to use a tiny, tiny amount first, really thin. So just like you're doing um, a slip layer, you're going to do your thin layer first, just on the contact area. And then I'm going to grab a bead. I can't believe I cured that, honestly. I'm having one of them days today. Whoa. I want more than that, so I'm going to grab another bead because I'm working on my thumb. I've got quite a big tip to work with here. Okay, so I've got the top section. Now I'm going to get that to the side so it does not cure. And then hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this. Okay, so I'm going to flip my tip around. Aiming it at the back of my thumb. I'm going to tilt it right on its back, like so. And I'm going to watch that gel travelling down the nail once it reaches my free edge. I'm going to cure in the lamp. And I'm going to hold it here for about 10 seconds. Do not move. Do not move your angle. Do not move your pressure. Keep it on, and then after 10 seconds, there you have it. Okay, so now I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. And it is as easy as that, guys. You are then ready to just go ahead and buff. Pop your colour on, pop your top coat on. So you can see how it is so, so super quick to get these on. You're basically just doing... A set of gel nails but you're skipping all of the structure gel all of the builder gel you don't have to create any um structure there at all you're literally just gonna buff it it's a full-on tip system hema free yes it is you made that look so easy i promise you it is easy it really is Oh, sorry, I'm just missing. Oh no, I've just gone off that live. Sorry guys, I might miss a few questions now. I'm a, I'm a convert from acrylic since I found these. Yeah, I would be as well. I don't really use 
any other form of extensions now, unless I've got a nail biter. Doesn't it run into the sides when you push it? Only if you apply too much gel. So that is the finished tip. Freshly applied in the pink. So if you're getting flooding into the sides, what you can do is grab your silicone tool and just give it a wee clean up. You can give it a wee clean up underneath as well. If you want to shorten them at all, would you use a pair of clippers or file? If you're wanting to take a good bit off of them, I would use your clippers. If I wanted to take this down to here, I'd use my clippers. If I want to just take the end off, I would just use my file. But let me show you um, one of our top coats. I think this will look really nice. So all I'm going to do is get my 240 file. Buffer even. And I'm going to dust off. And then what I'm going to grab is the top it off with the glitter in it. So I've got the top it off gold glitz here. And I'm just going to apply a layer of that on. So if you were doing your, your gel colour, this is what you would apply. Just pretend that's a gel colour, obviously, not a top coat. How nice is that? Can you guys see that sparkle in it? Is it picking it up for you? Beautiful. Do you need to do the full 60 second cure? Yes, you definitely need to do the full cure. If you don't fully cure it, you're gonna run into all kinds of problems. They're probably not gonna last. You could get allergies because the product isn't cured properly. So definitely, definitely remember to go in for a 60 second cure. The flash cure lamp is just as it says, flash cure only. So you always need to do a full cure. What course of action if you notice a bubble or if it seeps out? This happened to me when a client moved. Yes, nightmare if you've got a fidgety client um, or you are struggling with the positions of their hands. All I would do is, so when you're applying the tip down onto the nail, if you notice any bubbles, if you notice any seepage, just don't cure it. Pull it off the nail, wipe off the um, product, reapply your primer, reapply your product and reapply the nail. The beauty of gel is that you do not need to cure anything until you're happy with it. So if you find air bubbles or anything like that, just take it off beforehand. Do they have to be soaked off or could you infill? You can infill them. You can infill them really, really easily because they are nice and thin. The apex isn't too big. It's just the perfect size. Um, infills are really quick and easy to do using this system or it's really quick to soak off as well you can do it in about 15 minutes um, a soak off quicker if you're e-file trained um, so if you hate infilling then this is a great system for you to use as well it's beautiful it is isn't it and so so quick I mean I've got clients that will come to me on their, their lunch break and get these um, if you've got a client that all these tips fit perfectly to, you can be so quick if you're just putting that tip and a top coat on. Can you infill a few times or just once? You can infill these absolutely to the whole, the whole time, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, the whole time that the extension is on. It will turn into a backfill, maybe after four to six weeks, maybe four to eight weeks. So, as the extension grows out, when the extension ends up being here, you're going to have the thickest part. So this apex section, the thickest part is going to be here. So instead of just having to infill this section, you're going to need to file this whole section down at the bottom. So you might be a little bit longer at that appointment. Um, but you can just keep essentially infilling these until they grow out. And I've done that with so many of my clients. They'll maybe have this on for three sets worth. Um, and then the, the tip has, has grown out and their, their natural nails are, are lovely and long. Can the flash cure lamp be used as cordless? No, it can't. Um, it's got a USB port, I think. I'm not sure. I want to say that's a USB-C that goes in one end. And then in the other end, you've got just your normal USB port. Oh, 
combos over there. Would you use the same gel for infill or BMU, strength and structure, perfect poly? So the only one um, out of those that I wouldn't use is perfect poly because perfect poly is a harder system than gel. So we don't recommend that you infill a harder product over a softer product, if that makes sense. So if you wanted to use um, Build Me Up, if you wanted to use Get A Grip, Give Me Strength, then yeah, absolutely fine to do that. But we don't recommend um, infilling with Acrogel. You can infill acrylic with Acrogel because it's not as strong as acrylic, but for gels, stick to gel products to infill with it. Those colors, they're standing out there, Lindsay. Super, super pretty. Excuse my battered natural nails. So, so nice. Should I put one of the other sparkly ones on this thumb? I feel like it's left out now. I think I'll put the hollow glitz on that one. Let me know if you've got any other questions at all. Have you got spaces on your full on tips class, Lindsay? Your online one? Let us know what date and everything that it's on. If you guys want to become qualified and insured on this system then we've got a few running right, i'm gonna put hollow glitz on this one off to do my nails for a wedding tomorrow oh exciting have a lovely day so i'm just gonna buff this one wipe and prep and pop on my other glittery top coat do they feel strong once they're on or bendy? They've got a slight bend to them, ever so slightly, but they feel strong. Um, I really put these to the test when I was wear testing them. We were camping and I was pulling out um, peg, peg posts with them. <laughs> so yeah, they are solid, absolutely solid. So this is Hollow Grits. How much is online training? Already gel polish, BMU, I'm trained with Magpie. So you can do the online class for £90 online, or you can do in salon for £120. Online is four hours, in salon is five hours. Oh, I forgot how tricky it is to do your bad hand. Got the shakes. How beautiful is that? So that is our hollow glitz. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So we've got our gold hollow glitz over our pink and we have got our, no, sorry, our gold glitz and our hollow glitz over our peach. Let me just pop this into cure. Hi, I missed the beginning. Did you use BMU in a pot? No, I used our new full on gel in a pot, which is basically the same as building me up in a pot, but to save confusion, because you can't apply with the bottles, we have come out with a whole new full on system so that you know that's exactly what you need to buy. A nail tech using nails as tools. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I am the worst. I am so bad at looking after my nails. So, so bad. I think we all are, to be honest. If anyone's got any questions I've missed, do let me know. Any other questions about the system at all? These top coats are no wipe as well, so they're absolutely fine. How much would you charge for this? I charge £40 for perfect poly extensions. So I would absolutely charge your normal price. Um, I wouldn't be tempted to reduce the price because it's less product and less um, time. I charge £55 for my extensions. So I just have it on my price list. Gel extensions. And if they come to me and they're a nail biter, they'll get sculpted extensions. If they are um suitable for the full-on tips and they will get the full-on tips i decide based on their nails they don't get a pick if they get a sculpted set or not if you are struggling with your pricing i do have a pre-recorded business management workshop 
and we go all through pricing and how you can work out how you need how much you need to earn per hour. Um, so if you'd like more information on that, you can email me Ruth at magpiebeauty.co.uk or you can message me on Little Black Spaces. And that goes all into detail about your pricing, but absolutely keep it as, as your standard extension price. Haven't tried hollow blitz, looks lovely. Isn't it just? It's perfect for those clients, you know, let's say, oh, I don't want glitter, but I want a little bit of something sparkly. That is the perfect option for them, especially older clients who think that they can't wear glitter. It's perfect for them too. They love it. It's perfect for bridal season. I've had loads of brides and bridesmaids. If they lift at any point, do you soak off and reapply? Yep. So if you have gone and applied your full on tip and you've not noticed that there's a massive air bubble um, somewhere, then absolutely soak it off. If you do not soak that off, what's going to happen is when your client goes to wash their hands, what is going to get stuck underneath the enhancements and that's when a pucidoma can uh, occur. So a greenie um, will happen whenever water and dirt um, gets underneath the nail. So it's so, so important that you apply these without um, any air bubbles. They should be looking like this, nice and smooth. You shouldn't see any cloudiness um, in the extensions if you do soak it off. So many of my clients have it. Yeah, it's so, so nice. Um, are the tips individually numbered? Yes, Fran, they are. So let me show you. I think it's underneath they're numbered in the new ones. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Can you see ever so slightly? It's like um, raised. So that's number five. So it's just underneath. So they are numbered. How much does the service cost? This will obviously depend on all of your, your running costs. But the cost with Magpie off the top of my head, I think it is around about a pound, um, a pound 20, I think, using all your Magpie products to get a set of the full on tips. What do you infill with and how? You can infill with your full on gel, you can infill with builder gel, you can infill with get a grip and give me strength. And you would just infill as you normally do with any other service. So you are gonna take off the top coat, take off the color, debelt the structure so that you are nice and flat. And then you're gonna do all your natural nail prep, all of your cuticle work, remove any of your lifting, and then you're gonna go in with your base coat and build your structure up again. If you're not sure how to do infills, I'd really recommend doing the strength and structure course. We go through infills on that class on natural nails. Or if you do the full on tip course, we will show you an infill using the full on tip as well. Definitely need to practice. Yes, they do take some getting used to, um, but once you crack it, they are absolutely magic to work with. What do you do when you have a client who has really flat nail bed? Yeah, nightmare. <laughs> Any client who has a flat nail bed is a nightmare for a nail tech. Every full and tip I've tried pop off after a few days, but other clients, no problem. So what you need to do if you've got a client that's got a really flat nail bed, you need to apply more product. Um, so you have to put more product in the tip and it'll sit slightly higher up um, than your other clients. They are difficult to work with, but it can be done. I do have clients that have got flat tips um, and they have managed to keep their tips on. If they're popping off after a few days, the chances are you're um, using a tip that's too small. Um, so try sizing up a bit and that should prevent them from popping off as well. Great to see the applications techniques. Oh, you're more than welcome. So it's fairy dust for extra sparkle. Absolutely got to have some extra sparkle. So that's them with the top coats and that is them as they are. Are the tips individually numbered in the box? Sorry, Fran. Sorry, I didn't understand um, that question properly. No, they're not numbered here and they're not numbered on the box. They're only numbered on the tip. 
sorry that's what you meant rather than than the tip numbers no they are not but you can just count them up you know so we've got 0 to 10.5 and these that's beautiful dates I'll, I'll pop all the dates on if I can yes Lindsay um, I think we've got a few running there's one with Nikki there's one with June there's one with Lindsay my one is full um, and I want to say they're all May June time but if you go onto the education tab of the website you will find um, all the dates for full and tips classes and if something doesn't suit you, please email help at magpiebeauty.co.uk or email um, your nearest educator and see if they'll put on um, a session for you. Will this be recorded as I missed the start? Yes, I'll save this to the page. It'll be in the video section of the page so you can watch it back. Is it just a light pressure you, you use to apply to stop overspill the product? Yeah, I'd say so. So all I'm doing is is really hovering it on the nail. I wouldn't say I'm definitely not squeezing it down. If you're squeezing it down, then you shouldn't be able to squeeze it. If the tip fits right, it shouldn't be able to squeeze flat. It should be just flat as you hold it. Um, if you're squeezing it too flat, then that can be a reason why the, the product's spilling out. You should just be hovering it on top, watching the gel uh, fall down and curing it. Do you put them on right up to the cuticle and not blend in with the frining? So the new ones, this I just applied straight up to the cuticle and there is definitely no need to refine that one. Okay, so super nice flush. Um, our old style ones, sorry I've just noticed I've got a hair in that one. Our old style ones, ever so slightly, you might want to refine the old style ones. That one hasn't been refined. But I do find that with the older ones, they're slightly thicker at the tip. The new ones are slightly thinner. But yeah, the new ones just, I just buff over the top so the gel's got something to stick to. Can you buy individual size tip refill bags? Um, we do have these available for our old tips. I'm not sure how popular they've been. So if it is something that you want, let Magpie know, email help. Um, buy the refill packs. Um, Sarah's always listening to you guys, so if there is something that you want to request, never hurts to send send an email if you've got any requests for anything, colours, tips, whatever you fancy, glitters. Who's got their new um, coronation glitter? There is a ten percent sale this weekend, and I'm not sure what the code is. I'm assuming it's coronation. For orders over £30, you will get your free coronation glitter, which is like a gorgeous gold holographic one. This is amazing. Yes, it absolutely is. Are you saving this live? Yes, I will be. I'll save it to the page. I'll save it to the video section. Everyone that's just joining, we've just been showing how to apply these full on tips. Don't worry if you've missed it. I'm going to save it. So I've showed you a demo on my thumb here. I've got our new full on tip pink matte coffin. And I also have our, um, not our hollow glitz. I've got our gold hollow glitz on my thumb. This is it. Just straight applied from the box. And this is it with the, the glitter over it. We also have new peach ones. These are new shapes. These are shorter than our other ones. And this is the peach with our hollow glitz top coat. And this is it. Just freshly applied. Absolutely stunning. So if anyone's got any other questions, what you can do is comment on this video. If you're on the Magpie Facebook group, I put a post up there for any questions as well. If you'd like anything answered. Um, but hopefully I haven't missed anyone on the live. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've converted a few of you. I'm an absolute fool and tip loyal. 
They are so, so good. They are so easy to apply. They're so quick. They are so sturdy. Best way to clean your gel brush after use. So just on a clean lint pad, Tara. Don't use your cleanser, don't use your prep, don't use your remover. Just use a clean lint free pad with a little bit of gel in it. It's quite good to keep gel in your brush. It'll keep it conditioned. Any other questions before I go guys? This will be saved to the page. Can't wait for my delivery and training. Me too, Fran. I love doing phone tips training. Can you tell me the price of the lamp and a box of tips? Yes, the lamp is £33 before VAT. Our clear tips are 19 95 before VAT. And our coloured tips are 21 95 before VAT. So, absolute brilliant value for your money. Is there much difference between the new gel and Build Me Up? No, it's basically the same product. So if you have got Build Me Up clear in the pots already, you can continue to use that. This is just to save confusion um, because you can't use Build Me Up bottled and we don't want people reading that, oh, you can apply it with Build Me Up and then using the bottles and not getting the best results. So that is why we have the full-on gel. You can use whatever you prefer. You can also use acrylic. You can also use Acro Gel. So whatever system you like to use, this will work. Okay guys, I think I'll end it there. Do let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you have a lovely bank holiday weekend. And we'll hopefully see you all soon, okay? Bye.